Today we're going to look at how to preserve cell formatting when dragging a formula down a column. What you're looking at here is one of the exercises from our Level 2 Live eLearning course using formulas in Excel. And one of the things we explore in that course is how to put a formula in a column and drag it down our data so that it adds up things as it goes down. One of the problems we have though is that as we drag that formula down, it overwrites cell formatting and makes the table look ugly. Let's take a look first of all at what we have. This is a company's revenue year to date, and we're pretending it's July for this moment. In column A, we have the month that we're recording data from. In column B, the number of sales we made that month. And in column C, the revenue for that month. Then in column D, I have a formula which is going to add up cumulative totals from column C. But let's look at what happens as I drag that down. Now to drag a cell down, you hover the mouse over the bottom right hand corner of the cell where you have that slightly darker little square. And on your screen, you'll see that the cursor changes from a thick white cross to a thin black cross, but that doesn't come out on the screen recording. But as I drag that down, what you'll see is that it adds up progressively all the values in column C, yet it's overwritten my backgrounds. So what's gone from being a nicely formatted table to now having a big white column on the right hand side. So we're going to take a look in this tip at how to address that. I'm just going to undo those changes that I've made. And to drag it down without covering the formatting, rather than using the left mouse button when you hover it just here, use the right mouse button. Now at first it feels like it's not doing anything because the cursor just changes back to the white arrow but as you drag down you'll see that it is doing something. And I'm going to drag that down to the same place and when I reach the bottom as before I will release the mouse button except that this time it is the right mouse button not the left. And what pops up then is a menu and it tells me I can choose from well three main options up the top here. The first is copy cells. Now that's the default and that's what happened just now when I used the left mouse button that copied the cells and the formatting. Second option just here is to fill formatting only and leave the contents of the cell untouched. Well that might be useful sometimes but it's not what I'm looking for today. And then the third option, this is the one I want, fill without formatting. I want to drag the formula down but not cover the formatting behind my cells. So I will click that. And there you go. I now have my formulas all the way down, but I have not lost my neat table formatting behind. As I said, this is covered in our Using Formulas in Excel live e-learning course. If you would like more information about that, take a look at our website at www.naturallyspreadsheets.com. Hope you've enjoyed this tip. Subscribe on our website to receive these every two weeks to your inbox. 